I'm going to make one more tape for today. This is one long chapter. I won't get through the whole chapter just because I don't know if I'm putting up too many tapes in one day. I'm going to kind of gauge it with everybody else and where they're all sitting at. Um, so I'll make one more tape. You let me know. Do you, do you like it at the speed I'm doing it? Do you want more? Do you want less? <laughs> A feedback piece that I'll continue reading. Start the tape. Okay. Awakening to presence invites exploration of other people's presence. Discovering the other self creates instantaneous bonding with others who are also present. Bonding emerges far beyond the usual dance. It is beyond particle wave events. It is an unveiling of co coherence, a releasing of deep synergetic powers within each person. This synergy, synergy ignites relationships and allows the being of togetherness between partners to emerge. As partners learn to relate, the spontaneous Super conscious aspects of relationships emerge. Teams form, systems organize, and people form community. From this state of being, there is no need for a dominant political state. People possess a natural state of responsibility. They are conscious, and in this state of being, they each contain the music and the dance of life for each person and for each part of the community. They discover a reality in which oneself, the other participants, and even the dance itself becomes alive. It allows presence within a field of presence. This field of presence arises naturally as dancers move beyond the confines and controls of the particle and wave dualities. They shift from particle play to wave play and back again by choice, and choice unveils the timeless part of those who choose. This is like the wealthy understand the um, poverty, and poverty understands wealthy. Um, you have to have an understanding of each other in order to form cooperative uh, communities. Um, only when you can put yourself in the other person's shoes can you understand what your role is in your own personal community that gets formed. Within this field of the choosing and shifting from particle to wave and back again, we experience the discovery of holodynamic dance. In the holodynamic dance, all other dynamics that are occurring around and within the dance come alive. People come alive to, choo to cho choose in the multi-dimension conscious universe. Conscious participation in nature, natural, is uh, a conscious participation is natural in the holodynamic world. It provides the essential essence of living life to its fullest potential. It is also the only consistent dance in life, the fullest dance. Thus, holodynamic dancers participate more fully, with more passion and in intelligence in all aspects of the dance of life, and more integ in integ integrity and consistency than either particle or wave players. They find solutions to problems that are not evident to others. They create variations and adaptations, changes, and new thoughts such as the potential of each situation can be unfolded. The entire dynamics of the dance are enhanced at any given moment by the living bond with the hyperspatial dimensions of time and space. People move beyond war and terrorism. They move beyond illness and ignorance. Holodynamic participants are able to sense the effects of a parallel world, other dimensions of non-local, faster than the speed of light, phenomena. These non-local phenomena produce the information spinners that seeds the implicate order. This implicate order contains orders within orders of life. In subtle powers, powerful ways, these hidden dimensions have tremendous impact on our world and we in this world are having an impact on other worlds as well. We are part of one colossal dynamic dimensional dance. We dance by choice. We design it. We live it. We can love it or we can hate it. 
At the deepest level, we choose to experience it in our own unique way. Our experiences are fed into parallel worlds, and then our parallel worlds feed us information back again. In every dimension, the full potential self is, and everything that is everywhere and every when is constantly influencing our life in this space-time continuum. To hear the music of a hidden world, to align with their tapestry of potential, to harmonize with the source of the force that is driven every situation and aids it in coming forth, the synergy of coherence, knowing harmony, passion, and fullness is the essence of the deep, satisfying dance of life. Every dancer has his way of using energy, particle, wave, or holodynamic. Every style provides a distinct, distinctive way of thinking. Different dancers using different styles. Every dance pr produces a panoramic par parade of chosen performances in the dances of life. Conflicts arise. Each is different than the other. Resolution is impossible from within the dances. Solutions and resolutions come from distinctions that are not available from inside the event horizon of the dance. Still, the dance must be experienced. It must be understood in order to resolve the conflict. One must rise above the event horizon to discover the solution. This is where we're at in 2011. We're on the event horizon. We need to experience everything we're about to experience. And that will end up dictating what happens at the end of 2012. It is not enough for me to just watch the people of Russia or to analyze their situation. It is not enough for me to passionately sympathize with them. I had to become them. I wanted to negotiate with those people who were caught up in either or mentalities or in polarization that occur among particles and wave thinkers. I knew that being caught in such thinking can never really resolve issues. Their military dominant society was determined to solve all their problems and from a military mentality this determini determination became a determination to win. So they create war dances because they are locked into particle and wave polarization. They get locked into their war dances. This is why war dances go on and on and on. Centuries pass and still individuals and collective war dances continue. They become their dance and it is the dance without solutions. They have only their own dance. So many people are caught up in the Cold War that it became internationally collective and entire countries lost their precious contact with life and its magnificent dance. We are locked into a war dance. This is what is going on globally. And somebody even just posted is that we should be killing all Christians because Christians are killing everybody. And it's like, that is the freaking game you are turning into. You want to kill all Christians because Christians are killing everybody. What makes you any different than a Christian if you're killing all Christians? <laughs> you know, it's, you can't, you, you have to become your enemy to understand your enemy, but don't become your enemy and live as your enemy. You got to be there and jump out. <laughs> anyway, presence reveals that solutions emerge from the hidden potential that is causing the problem. The emerging potential can only be understood holodynamically. We must step out of the war dance. Solutions come from parallel worlds, from within the unfolded dimensions of consciousness. Solutions, consciousness, solutions come from where information is integrated from the past, present, and future. The integration takes place in the now, when a person is present. At the truly present, a truly present person must, can manifest beyond the confines of their limited space and time. A present person is one who becomes the potential that drives every problem. A present person is the solution to every problem. They have overcome all the games by taking a superposition outside and inside of the conflict at one and the same time. How does one gain access to such a superposition? There are three fundamental ways to look at a problem, particle, wave, and holodynamic. To become the solution, one must become holodynamic. Particle solution. From a particle view, a problem is a set of, uh, of unsatisfactory circumstances that must be analyzed in order to find a solution. 
If a teenager has a drug problem, part of, particle focused parent will want to get all the data. They will almost impulsively ask, where have you been? What have you been doing? Who have you been out with? They want to logically understand everything first and then they hope with all that factual understanding they will be able to help the child come off drugs. It never happens. The particle mind cannot comprehend the real problem. Take a problem like addiction. Most people do not realize that realize is the particle mind is part of an addictive problem. I know. I was executive director of one of the most successful drug rehabilitation programs in the history of America. We were able to wipe out the drug problem in six cities. We, what we found was that drug dependent people were usually what could be described as compulsively insecure and thus driven by the need to know. As it turns out, most of these people were unaware of their connections to this multiple dimensional reality. They were rational, linear, and so emotionally and, and spiritually in pain that they just found a way to space out. Drugs were easy, available, and took no responsibility. That's exactly the problem I have with my smoking addiction. I am so friggin' wrapped around the pain of a lot of the abuse experiences uh, this year. My son, who still hasn't recovered from a lot of the bullshit that he's been through, ended up getting married without his mother. Um, nothing could be more painful, and uh, um, it, it is all explained. It, it is like he's trying to get his father's love. His father wants him to hate his mother, so he's playing out the same game his father plays and he doesn't even know that he's doing it. He just thinks that a wedding is not all that important. Um, but to a mom it's everything and I'm pretty sure it's going to mean a lot to him when he has pictures that didn't involve everybody. Um, I'm going to continue that um, tomorrow. Let me know if um, this is too much information coming at too, too much in one day or if you can handle more. Um, there's seven books. I'd love to get all of these books out as fast as possible according to my schedule. Um, let me know how it's going for y'all. Peace out.